guys, it's Elisa, not Alyssa, and today I bring you a vlog, which I've never done before. So if you like it, give me a thumbs up for more vlogs. So basically, I'm in Fano, which is where I live, and the event that's going on today is called Fano de Cesari, and um, it's basically kind of a reenactment of, I don't know, Roman times, I guess, where they have chariot races and things like that. So basically, I'm going to enter you into my experience, and I'm going to show you what's what happens basically. The other cool thing about this event is that there are four factions. So basically like the houses in Harry Potter, there are four of them. So there's the wolf, the fox, the warthog, and the dolphin. And basically each part of Fano is like separated into different sections and each part has a color associated with it. So the people that you'll see will have togas in different colors. So the other thing I forgot to mention is that a lot of people are dressed as Romans. I'm not, I tried. Uh, <laughs> it was too late for me to get a proper costume but yeah there will be a lot of people dressed like Romans, chariot races and duels and cool stuff. By the way I know I said that I would be doing this vlog in Italian but I decided to do it in English because I figured you know it would be something more unique I guess for English English speakers who might be interested in coming uh, to Italy so yeah basically I'm sorry I'm doing it in English next time I'll be in Italian. So the other thing that's cool is that Fano is not like a big city, you know? People when they go on vacation to Italy, they usually go to Rome or Florence or Venice, kind of the typical places, which are the places that I went to as well. But the thing is that's cool is that even in a small place like Fano, you can find really interesting stuff and really interesting celebrations like this. So that's part of the reason of me taking you with me today. Kind of the point is I want to encourage you or encourage people in general not just to go to the big places like Rome but also to go to the small places like Fano or any other small places because every little place has something interesting and every little place has something to discover. So what I have behind me is basically the symbol of Fano. So it's the Arco di Augusto, which was ordered to be made by Augustus Caesar. Another Harry Potter reference, kind of, with the faction. So in this area I'm in right now, it's kind of where they do the races and some of the competitions that they have. So there will be various competitions and the factions will, will duel, basically, uh, to try to get points. So there are like beauty contests and there, there are various things that are going on. So I'm going to try to show you some of them if I can, but the sun's basically going down, so I'll try to see if I can get any light. I want this. All right, so it's like, I don't know, 20 minutes later. Uh, we just met up with some friends and we're gonna go eat. We have this reservation thing. And uh, it's gonna be a nice Italian meal. Maybe I'll show you what's there. And then tonight there are gonna be some other, I don't know, events of some sort. I don't know exactly what's gonna happen, but we'll see. So the last time we spoke, I guess it was when I just met up with my friends and we went to go eat something, but it was pretty loud and pretty dark, so there was not much to see. But basically we had porchetta, which is, well, pork, as you could intuit, I'm sure. There was lasagna and there was also some vegetable. I don't really know what it was, but whatever. So that was the dinner and there was a lot of music going on. There was someone playing the bagpipes and there was a band and blah, blah, blah. Kind of just felt like the festivals that we have in Ottawa, actually, in Canada like the Lebanese festival or the Greek festival, kind of felt like something similar to that. Then, like I said, there were supposed to be some things going on in the evening, but there was a huge crowd of people, so honestly, I we couldn't see anything. So not only was I not able to show it to you, but I can see it myself. So that kind of made me a bit sad, but it's okay, because there's still tomorrow. So today was the first day that we went. Pretty sure it started on Thursday and it went every day or something like that, I don't know. We only went today and then we're gonna go again tomorrow. Hopefully I can actually show you something tomorrow because otherwise it's gonna be, not that the vlog's gonna be a waste of time, but I mean the whole point of the vlog was to show what happens and I didn't really show you what happened. <laughs> so that kind of sucks. But in any case, you could always use this as English practice because I mean, most of my followers are Italian, so I'm sure you're looking for a way to practice your English. So whatever, this can be like a comprehension exercise. That glow though. Anyway, I don't know if I said this, but I'm home now. Um, <laughs> after we realized that we couldn't go there because there were too many people, we said, okay, let's go for ice cream. We go and every single place had a line that was so long that it was basically impossible unless you wanted to wait an hour. So then we went for a walk and whatever. 
now I'm home uh, and tired and think I'm gonna go to bed. But first I have some work to do. I'm gonna see you in a minute. And by in a minute for me, it's gonna be tomorrow. Hopefully I can actually show you something more valuable, I guess, but we'll see. Okay, so it's Sunday, it's freaking hot, it's freaking humid. Behind me there's a stand where people can watch the race. So yesterday was kind of a fail because we were supposed to see something. So that's unfortunate. It kind of makes you feel like this vlog is a waste of time. I hope not. Today we're gonna try to see something. Look, something. Okay, so this is kind of my favorite part of the vlog. I hope you guys enjoy it too. This is kind of one of the presentations, I guess. So first of all, the horses are just cool because it kind of puts you in that mindset, right? And oh my gosh, the armies, yes! This is, I don't know, just look at the costumes. Like, I think these are the armies for each faction. Look how much detail is put into it. I think they did try to be as historically accurate as possible with the costumes and it shows. There's just a lot of detail that went into this, you know, a lot of planning. And Italians say themselves that they're disorganized, but there was so much organization that went into this. So this is the Dolphin faction. So we could see their army, I guess, and their people. This part, I missed the beginning of it, but that army that's running away now just attacks the other guys and they're running away. <laughs> Gosh, the war horn, like how cool is this? And the spears. You have no idea how happy I was while I was watching this and how happy I am seeing it again now. It like, <laughs> it brings tears to my eyes how freaking cool this is. I mean, I'm not a huge history person. I don't know that much. In fact, I consider myself quite ignorant when it comes to history. But when I see stuff like this, and when I walk in Italy and think about the Romans that were walking on the same ground, it just amazes me. It feels distant yet close at the same time. And that's kind of what I feel every day when I walk around here. I love that they added all these little details in there, you know? That they added the dancing. It puts you in that mindset. Like, I feel like I'm in a film, and the whole time I felt like I was in a film. That's part of the reason for this cinematic music that's in the background, because that music was actually playing the whole time. And so I kind of just felt like I was in Lord of the Rings <laughs> or a similar movie. So these are some of the costumes of the people. Here's the Chingyale, which actually isn't Warthog. I said earlier in the vlog that it's Warthog, it's actually a boar. My boyfriend said it was Chingyale and I asked him what it was because I couldn't remember which animal specifically that it was. And I asked him, is it like Pumbaa? And he's like, yeah, I'm like, okay, Warthog. It's not a Warthog, it's a boar, just saying. So these are all their people in their costumes. Look, Federica. 
my friend that I mentioned in my last video. These are the wolves. Look, look at the dogs. Like the fact that they thought of all this and put it together and had freaking wolf dog, beautiful creatures walk. I just, I just love it. You have no idea how mesmerizing this was in person. Watch and enjoy. Can I cry now? <laughs> I think this is the fox. Oh, and then we have the chariot race. Oh my gosh, the chariot race. So now they're just showing the four teams. So each one is for each faction. Dolphins, boars, foxes, and wolves. They all went around the track individually to get the best time. And that was kind of like qualifying. And then they would battle against each other. So this one is Jingyare. And he went so fast. He was the one that ended up winning in the end. The other ones are a little bit slower. And I think he raced a couple of times against the other ones since he was the winner. Look at this. And he leaves his opponent in the dust, quite literally. In fact, a lot of that dust went directly into my eyes, but it's all good. The winner, so beautiful. <sighs> I'm still daydreaming about it. Oh, and then after they raced each other two by two. Oh my gosh, it was so cool. It was, so, look at those freaking chariots. Like, how could you not love that? I just. So that's the end. It's the end of Sunday night now. It was super hot, super humid. My hair is a mess. Um, actually, it doesn't look that bad on camera, but trust me, it's a mess. <laughs> it was very sweaty, not much airflow. I got a lot of sand in my eyes, but it was awesome. It was worth it. I'm glad that, that I got something in the end. Honestly, I didn't think I was going to be able to see anything, but we, we stood for a bit before anything started. And in total, we stood there about, I don't know, two hours, two and a half hours. So that was pretty tiring because it was, like I said, really hot and really humid. But anyway, I really hope this was enjoyable for you. This is the first vlog I do by myself. So if you like this video, then give it a like, just so I know that you guys like vlogs and you want me to keep doing them. And if you do want me to keep doing them and you have a specific request for what you want me to do, you can comment it down below. And that's it. I have work to do, then I'm gonna go to bed. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.